Okay. Now let's come to the uh, uh, beam alignment. How we will direct our beam uh, for this type of uh, radiograph. Two important things, uh, or three important things that should be t uh, you should take care of. One is the vertical angulation. The vertical angulation in all these radiographs, if you are using this type of technique, you will give a plus 10. See, this is zero angle, okay? This is zero vertical angulation, okay? You just simply give a plus 10. Remember, plus 10, we directed downwards. So this is a plus 10 degree. Why would we give a plus 10? See, this is the zero angle. You give a plus 10 just to, comp to compensate for the tilting of the film that has resulted from the patient biting on the film. Okay? So this is the vertical angulation, plus 10, 1. Second, your horizontal angulation. How would you uh, adjust your horizontal angulation and you cannot see anything of the film? You will stand in front of the patient. You will stand in front of the patient and you move your uh, cone with this uh, uh, angulation fixed, you move it either way, mesially and distally, uh, so that at the end you want the beam to be perpendicular on the buccal surface of teeth. How would you assure this? You stand by the patient and you adjust, you make the uh, uh, per uh, beam perpendicular on the buccal surface of teeth. Remember the pen theory? You try to imagine, you imagine that there is a, a pen emerging from the, uh, uh, from the uh, X-ray uh, beam and you try to make this pen, which is hard to move, to pass in between the teeth. Pass in between the teeth. So try to adjust this pen hmm, to uh, pass in between the teeth. This, uh, uh, if the pen comes from this direction, you will have overlapping. If the pen comes from this direction, it will have overlapping. But if you have those parallel, the buccal surface and the cone are parallel, okay, then the beam will be uh, directed perpendicular on the uh, buccal surface and the beam will, pa beam will pass over the, uh, between the teeth. So you will have not, so we'll have no overlapping. If it comes from this direction, or it comes from this direction, then you will have an uh, overlapping of the uh, 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 of the contact margins or uh, surfaces of the uh, uh, images of the contact margins, and then the uh, X-ray will not be useful. And this is why we are using uh, doing this type of radiograph. We don't want overlapping margins. We want the margins of the teeth. The contact surface is op uh, s s <coughs> sorry, open so that you will have see the proximal surface of teeth. The last thing that you will take care of is the complete coverage. Uh, how would you uh, assure that the film will be completely covered, especially that there is not, nothing showing of the uh, uh, film except this bite wing uh, 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 tab, uh, which is slightly extending in between the teeth. To assure this, what you will do is that you will try to make sure that this tab, which is the only thing extending, is in the center of the cone. If it goes to either direction, okay, then it will, uh, it will not be showing. See, this is the horizontal angulation adjusted. The film has tilted inwards, so you compensate by a plus 10. This is one. Your horizontal angulation, it should be directed so that it will be perpendicular on the buccal surface of teeth. And the last thing that should you take care of is the coverage. And the coverage, you, you look at this margin, huh, which is the only thing that is showing from the film, and you try it to, to, you try to make it within the center of the cone. Within the center of the cone. I'll repeat again, see? One, two, three, we're done. This is the film position. Now let's come to the coverage. In the coverage, I'll try to make this margin within the center of the cone. If you come from this direction, this direction, this direction, all will be conquered. If you make it in the center of the cone, okay? If you make it in the center of the cone, 
okay? Then this is the margin. You make it in the center of the cone. You will have no, uh, you will have complete coverage, okay? And at the same time, you guarantee your horizontal angulation. Done. Done. Simple. Once you're, you, you, you're done, remove the uh, X-ray uh, cone. S try to support the film from the tab. Ask the patient to open and take the film out of the oral cavity.